I was very blessed just recently to have a birthday and for someone to shout me to come from away. I've been absolutely captured by this musical and the story that surrounds it. It's the incredible story of September 11 and the horrific events that happened on that day. So 38 planes get diverted. Obviously, they can't land with all that's going on in New York and other places throughout America. And we find that there's 7,000 stranded passengers. So they land in this little town called Gander in Canada. Imagine the thoughts of the people who are sitting on the runway, what's going through their minds, and when they eventually find out what's happened back in their home country or beyond and wonder, is everything all right? Will they get home? What's going to happen to them? And this little group of people in Gander are quite incredible. They show amazing hospitality and kindness. The real community shown on those days is quite remarkable. This musical addresses so many issues. The issues of women, the pilot who safely lands them there and looks after them. Spirituality, there is a beautiful part where they just stop and they start to sing, make me a channel of your peace. And the people from all of the churches, all of the religions come together to worship. Make me a channel of your peace. The issue of racism, the guy who thinks everyone's going to be suspicious that they'll pinch his wallet when he's told to go and round up the barbecues. What will people think? Are they going to round me up? And yet kindness is shown, love is shown, issues of diversity and inclusion. And the musical portrays each one of these in a beautiful way as people come from a tragic experience to one of being embraced and being loved. Everyone is welcome at the table. Everyone is at the table. Everyone shares what they have. Everyone gives what they have been given. Kindness is unbelievable. There is real community, loving and being loved, serving and being served, knowing and being known, celebrating and being celebrated. Kindness is never forgotten. Kind of reminds me of the Acts 2 Church. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe and many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favour of all the people. And the Lord added to their numbers daily those who were being saved. We all come from away and God provides a place for all of us. We're all welcome at the table who's welcome at our tables. This small community showed kindness in abundance. In these days, friends, there are so many people who need to be welcomed to the table. We are the people of God. He's asking us to do that. Consider it. Who's welcome at my table?